Hello and welcome to another edition of another book review. This week I'll be reviewing Martin Amos's novel Night Train. Talk real briefly about the author, go into a spoiler-free overview of the plot, talk about what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, who I'd recommend the book to, and finish off with what I'll be reading for next time. Um, Martin Amos is a, an English author. He's been publishing for probably close to 40 years now. Uh, his most famous work is probably Money, uh, which was on the Time 100 Best Novels of, I think it was roughly 90 years, 100 years, something to that effect, which I read a few years back. Uh, I didn't particularly like it very much. I found it was very uh, experimental in some places, but overall uh, it was kind of a difficult novel to enjoy. Um, this book, Night Train, uh, is I think in some ways very different. It is very, very short. It's only about 175 pages, probably more of a novella. But it follows a uh, police officer whose name is Mike. Uh, she's a female named Mike who is kind of tasked with dis discovering uh, what happened to the uh, police chief's daughter um, whose name is Jennifer. Uh, they find Jennifer's body, and it's not quite sure, certain if it's a suicide or a murder. And so the book is really her trying to go in and uncover facts about this woman who on the surface appeared to be perfect, had everything kind of going for her in life, and so trying to determine what exactly happened to her. And the book is really almost a procedural of uh, Mike going through Jennifer's life and at kind of the personal request of her mentor, who is the police chief, of kind of being the person to to kind of track down the truth. Um, it's a very dark book. It's very grim. I felt like it did a very good job of getting into the head of a police officer. I don't. I'm not a police officer, and so I don't know how exactly they think. But from what I've gathered, just due to the grim nature sometimes of the job, they have a very dark sense of humor. I think that carries really well into this book. A lot of times it's kind of cops talking to other cops and there's parts of the book where Amos has kind of this real bleak, dark sense of humor that I thought was really well done. I think that the the story kind of moves along very quickly. Um, it's relatively short. Uh, I think it does a good job of kind of approaching the world in kind of a, a bleak nature. And while I think that would turn some people off, I think it was very fitting for the story that he's trying to tell. Um, if there's anything I didn't like about it, uh, it is very much a procedural. And while I thought that the ending kind of met the rest of the story, I think there are some people who maybe will be turned off by the ending or kind of turned off by the bleak nature of the book. Uh, I enjoyed the book a lot more than I enjoyed Money. I, I don't know how much I'll kind of take with me. I don't know how how much I'll really remember from it because it's a little slight, I, I, my, my opinion. But I enjoyed it more. There's some structural things, experimental stuff that he does where he takes the dialogue and kind of puts them together in large blocks of text, almost just as if he was citing from like an academic paper. So he does that. It's a little experimental in that sense, but it really just kind of follows this one character as she tries to uncover what happened to kind of a friend of the family almost. So that is Night Train. If you're someone who is a fan of kind of noir or crime fiction or uh, the, the thing that it reminded me the most of was probably the movie Seven. And so if you are a fan of that movie, I felt like this was very much in that vein. I reviewed Gun Machine by Warren Ellis, and I think it's also similar to that. So there's some really dark material in there, and that may be off-putting. I'll also say as kind of one of the things, the other things I didn't like, there's kind of a moment in the book where um, – uh, child sexual abuse kind of gets brought up and I think it's done so in a manner while it kind of explains uh, parts of a character's personality. I think it's done in such a way to uh, maybe be troubling for some people or I think some people can view that as kind of bringing up a really serious matter and not really giving it its due weight. Uh, I could see that criticism being leveled against it. But uh, if you're if you're bothered by suicide or sexual abuse or uh, there's a part where there is uh, an infant death, uh, you may want to stay away from this because it it does go into those details. It doesn't go so graphically into them, 
but you're talking about a kind of a police officer in a major metropolitan city, similar to the movie Seven. And so if you if that sounds like something you want to stay away from, I definitely can understand that. But that is Martin Amos, Night Train. And next time I'm actually going to be reviewing Ted Chiang's short story collection, Exhalation. Uh, until next time, please feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will go ahead and have my Twitter handle below if you want to follow me there. Until next time, bye.